Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Deborah Baker and I so appreciate you joining me for this meditation, which I uh, release every Tuesday morning at 11.30 Central Time. I think meditation and taking care of ourselves is extremely important. And I congratulate you again for um, taking this time out for yourself. So as we do, let's take three nice, really deep breaths. And allow your exhale to be a little longer than your inhale. And really sink into this last one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just let go. So I asked my guides, you know, what, what is the theme of our meditation this week? What are we going to be focusing on? And the answer came very clearly, which was to be kind to ourselves and to love ourselves. So the first part of our meditation is going to be about relaxing our bodies and sending our bodies love. Let's begin with our feet. Imagine each of your toes, the soles of your feet, the sides, the tops. Consciously let go. Feel a, a, an energy of relaxation moving up from the soles of your feet through each of your toes. And then think about sending love and energy, uh, love energy, um, appreciation, gratitude to your feet. Think about all that you put your feet through in the course of a day. Uh, maybe you walk, maybe you run, maybe you just move about your day like the rest of us and, and uh, keep busy on your feet. We know that um, we put our feet through a lot in the course of a day. So imagine a several spirits giving you an energetic massage at your feet. Sending your feet love and appreciation and feeling that, that love, that spiritual kind of um, massage at your feet and then moving into your ankles. The fronts of your ankles, imagine the, you know, this massage going deep into your ankles and then into your lower legs, your calves and your shins. Feel all stress and tension. If you have any discomfort in your feet or your lower legs or anywhere in your body, with each breath you release it more and more fully, discomfort or pain. Feel your calves and your shins relax, going through, going to a neutral position so your muscles are neither tensed nor f f stretched too far. They are in a neutral position and then feel that relaxation go into your knees. Our knees represent flexibility and if you think about it, we, we pivot on our knees a lot. So just imagine breathing into your knees, feeling your knees let go feeling that massage going all the way into the center of your knees, places that a massage therapist can't get because, uh, you know, there's bones and muscles and things in the way. But energetically and spiritually, we can allow that energy to come in all the way into the center of our knees. Feeling that stress and tension release and allowing yourself to feel a sense of flexibility. Let go of any rigidity. 
breathe into your knees and imagine going with the flow of life. Years ago I had a, or I heard a woman speak about her concept of her, her higher power and she said she felt like uh, God or the, you know, the divine power, her higher power was more like a flow and when she let go of her resistance, her rigidity, she found herself going with the flow. So as you feel your love at your knees, imagine going with the flow. Letting go of anything that you feel the need to control or anything outside of you that you feel responsible for. You are responsible for your own thoughts, words, and actions, unless you are a parent of a young child or taking care of a young child. As you send love to your knees, I invite you to give yourself permission to be more flexible, to be more fluid, to go with the flow of life, to stop resisting where life is leading you and allow yourself to go with it. All of us had an experience of that last year when we were quarantined. And we may not have wanted to be, but life, would, life took us on a path where we had to stay home. And we could either fight it or go with it. And you can hear myriad descriptions of people's experience of quarantine directly aligned with whether or not they went with the flow or they resisted it. So I suggest you give yourself that break. Give yourself that permission to let go, to be responsible for you, and even in those cases, to let go of the shoulds. I should do this, I should be that. I, you know, People expect me to be this way or that way. Let go of that and truly go with the flow of the divine allow God to move in through and as you. Feel that relaxation moving from your knees now into your upper legs. Some of the largest muscles in our bodies are our, in our thighs, our upper legs, and also some of the tightest muscles. And think about people trying to stretch out their hamstrings. We hold a lot of tension. Breathe into your upper legs. And send love to your upper legs, however you feel about them. Know that those large muscles have carried you through. When you were first learning how to walk, it was those large muscles that you relied upon to take your steps. And notice as you love and appreciate and allow relaxation to move through your feet ankles and all the way through your legs, your whole body is relaxing, your breathing is slowing down a little, your heart rate is slowing down a little and your brain has already shifted to the brain wave of meditation. So let's pause a moment and I invite you to think of one thing that you love about yourself or like about yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical body thing or an accomplishment. It can be that you have pretty eyes or you are clever, uh, quick, quick, with, 
quick-witted or thoughtful or kind. Let's take just a moment, nice deep breath, and allow thoughts of love and kindness for yourself to flow in. to think for a moment about the people that you care the most for, that you love the most. I have a feeling that your love for them is not rooted on what they do, but on who they are. And they could be related to you or not. But most of us love people unconditionally because we choose to love them. And we forgive their foibles and their shortcomings knowing that we are leading human lives that are limited, that include mistakes or missteps or whatever you want to call them. They don't always go smoothly and directly. And so I invite you to have that same sort of forgiveness and unconditional love and acceptance for yourself. Appreciate all of your many good qualities. Let's feel that relaxation coming up from the tops of our legs into our pel pelvises, into your pelvis, your tailbone, your pelvic floor your sit bones, all the way through your pelvis. And I invite you to think some more about what you like about yourself, what you're proud of, what you do well. There is probably a long list of what you do well, or what you enjoy doing. Feel that, that energetic massage moving through your pelvis, your hips, into your midsection. And let's think for a moment about how brave we are. Think about the things that you have faced in your life with courage. And sometimes people will say, well, I didn't have a choice. Um, you may not have had a choice with the events that happened in your life, but you did have a choice about how you coped with them. But I invite you to look back on it and see your strengths. See how well you did. Imagine that you're making a list of all of the things that you've done right during the most difficult times in your life. Don't think about the things you would change or the things you would do differently now. Think about the ways that you were right on the mark. And as that energetic massage moves up into your, ch into your chest and your heart space, allow that love that you have for you to expand. And at the same time, I invite you to remember that you are an expression, a divine expression of love itself. So at your core, your truest self is love. And you have it at your disposal all the time. You can always, always access infinite love for yourself or anyone else by remembering that that is your very nature. God loves you all the time, without exception, without pause. I invite you to feel love in your heart space. And if you're struggling right now to feel it for yourself, 
feel my love for you. Feel the infinite love of all that is. God's love flowing through this meditation to you with the clear intention to fill your being up with love, unconditional love and acceptance. Breathe it in. Notice too your hands and wrists receiving that sweet energetic massage. Each finger, each thumb, your wrists, your lower arms, your elbows, your upper arms. And think with great love and appreciation of all of the things that you accomplish with your hands. All of the times that you have touched someone with love and tenderness. All of the times that you have created something with your hands, cleaned something with your hands, made the world a better place with your hands. Feel that love moving through your heart space as it moves up through your hands and arms. Imagine receiving a hug. And I don't know if you've ever done it before, but you can hug yourself. And if you honestly, you know, put a little effort in it, it does feel like you're getting a hug. And there's nothing wrong with hugging yourself. The very first time that I heard someone of a religious nature or a religious person talk about um, loving yourself was that when I was in college and a, a priest said um, one of the commandments or Jesus said love your neighbor as yourself which means he's telling you to love yourself and I had missed that or, you know, however, however old I was, 20 years. Love yourself. Appreciate that you are a gift of God. You are an expression of God. You are sweet and precious. So feel that massage now going up into your shoulders and your neck. Let your shoulders sink down and back. Your neck grow a little longer. Feel it in your jaw. Allow your face to lose all expression as that energetic massage goes all the way around your head, through your face, all the way to the center of your brain lighting up your joy center there's a there's a place in your brain where we in our brains where we experience joy so imagine this energy is going right to your joy center and lighting it up allowing you to feel love and joy And let's take a moment to remember not only to be kind to ourselves, but um, to stop beating ourselves up, to stop pushing so hard, to, to lower our expectations of ourselves. There is a saying that probably most of us have heard before, which is, easy does it. And most of us think that means lighten up easy does it but there's another layer to that and that is that easy accomplishes it when we stop pushing I used to uh, hit on a jewelry store and I did silversmithing and, and, and some goldsmithing but mostly silver and the silver talked to me and I learned a lot of lessons. And there's, there were times when I just couldn't get the silver to flow where I wanted, or the flux, you know, the solder to flow where I wanted it to. 
and I would have to finally just stop and walk away, take a deep breath, and when I would come back, I would see something I hadn't seen before that perhaps something wasn't lined up perfectly or, um, you know, there was a gap that was not allowing it to flow. Some information, I would glean some information that I hadn't seen before. Let's give ourselves permission to step back, to relax, to release to be flexible, to go with the flow, and to know and trust that the infinite spirit of God is always present, moving in, through, and as you. Always, always, always. There's never a time when you are separate from God or from all that is. Take another deep breath and let it go. Anything that no longer serves you, just let it go and know that you are whole and perfect exactly as you are. You are a beautiful being of light and love and the God, the divine in me, honors and recognizes the God in you. Namaste.